Our final review of the Samsung ATVS is now live. A $130 Nexus 7 begins to surge in rumors, and LG's advertising makes you want to throw a rock at them. I'm Jaime Rivera, and according to the Mayans, this message will self-destruct in six hours. And this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, our final review of the Samsung ATVS is now live and there is a lot to say. Sammy made one of the boldest moves in the Windows Phone turf by releasing more of a business-minded phone in comparison to the other competitors like Nokia, for example, bringing their red and yellow colors, etc. Now, the device score was 8.5 out of 10 and there are a lot of compelling reasons why, so don't let me bore you here. Hit the links in the description and watch the videos and read the full review. Now, rumors of a $99 Nexus 7 have been so common we're now bored. It's extremely difficult for any manufacturer out there to be able to build a tablet that's that cheap and with so much power. Now, that being the case, there are already some rumors of a pricing for a cheaper Nexus 7 tablet, or a Nexus tablet just in case, and it apparently will be priced between $130 and $150. Bucks. What we don't know is if this will be the same Nexus 7 design tablet, or if we'll be getting the same design with lesser specs or a different tablet whatsoever. Time will tell we'll keep you posted. Now, Samsung has just confirmed that they'll be nice to their customer base sometime probably next year. Apparently, they'll be offering the Windows Phone 7.8 upgrade to all of their legacy devices, and that is all of their legacy devices, including the first generation Focus. That was one of the first Windows Phone devices to be launched, Windows Phone 7, that is. Now, the only problem here is we still don't know what date, and sadly, I don't even think Microsoft does. Now, Apple's policies are sometimes good and sometimes a pain in the... Um, we'll keep this video in PG. The thing is, there's this Kickstarter company called P.O.P. that built this portable charging station with a big battery in order to charge iOS devices. Now, guess why they're refunding the money to the capitalists and everybody they raised money from? Well, because their lightning connector for iOS devices is sadly proprietary and Apple did not approve the product. Talk about a great way to just kill a company, Apple. Now, P.O.P., I wonder why you guys are being stupid enough to give back the money. I mean, Android, uh, Windows Phone, Blackberry, just about every other device on the market uses micro USB. Don't return the money. Build something for Android. Do it now. It's a good idea. And finally, for the teeth cringing news of the day, LG has just aired a new ad claiming all the benefits you'd get if you order a new beautiful Nexus 4 from the Play Store. And the reason why this is so ironic is because the only reason why you, me, and millions of other people don't have a Nexus 4 yet is because LG isn't able to supply demands. And that leads me to the question of the day. Are you still waiting for a Nexus 4? In my case, I've been waiting for so long and the process to pre-order was so stupid, I'm sticking to my Galaxy Nexus. But leave us a comment down below what are you doing and if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw i'm jaime rivera thanks for watching see you tomorrow um, hopefully